at ARG Providence and uh, kicking it old school with Iggy. Of course. All right, so it looks like uh, he'll start things off by riding stride fodder. Oh, they're both going to ride stride fodders. Ooh. All right. Billy checking the first crit there. All Bart right. taking damage. All right. And Bart goes for the Burning Horn Dragon. Ooh, he's going for the Galling Claw to take out his Red Pulse Draco Kid. Yeah. Very viable play. They look for their uh, N's and their X's very easily. Even uh, in the mirror match, they look for the great most of all, definitely. Mm. Helped counteract the field very well and just keeps the flow of the game going better for you. Always good pitch for the uh, the ace, too. Right, Can't so forget about that. Yep, very right. much so. And the crit there. All right, no heal off of Bailey there. All right, so Bailey's going to ride Neoflame. Calling burnout. Uh, nine to Van. All right, check. All right, looks like Bart got a crit there and is safe from damage from burnout this turn. Let's see how uh, this will go. Looks like they're right. playing the Gary 2 Rush game with each other, and boy, that's a game uh, that's not fun to play sometimes. G is the extra crit. Dang. All right, looks like Billy's playing it safe. Mm, He's going four straight to three. for the grade three. Billy cannot afford to keep taking damage at the grade two game like this. I know, so he decided he's going to go right for that hand advantage. Yeah, can't play it safe at four. If he was at three, he could have held off for another turn, but four damage is like the cutoff. All right, so that's an excellent perfect guard. Not bad. Checks for Bailey at all. All right, here we go. Bart all right, let's up. see how Bart will counterattack. Ooh, he'll be riding his own axe. Legion, oh, all Legion. Four of his drop, drop zone cards. Yep, there. I believe uh, the cards in the drop zone were two crits, a draw, and uh, a calamity tower. Mm. Right, That's so good final. draw power for later. Looks like he added an end to his hand. Oh, using well, calamity. Hey, draw power now. All right, he seems to have drawn a critical trigger there. That's good news for Bailey. Ooh, He's swarming calm. the board. He knows he just gotta keep rushing for it now. Ooh. Oh, all right, double draw. Power to his end and his X in the rear guard. And looks like he's standing again. All right, this looks like a very good turn for Bart. Very unfortunate for Bailey, but let's see how Bailey can keep counteracting and keep playing. All right. It's definitely been a very right. interesting uh, ARG topping recently. We had uh, Dark Regulars in the top eight. We had Sweep Command Dragon in the top eight. Uh, three. Uh, the cross decks in top eight, yeah. and, and that's that why you've seen the mirror. And then that very unique uh, sanctuary guard deck was uh, yeah. very, very powerful. That is the one I lost to in uh, top eight. Mm. Same. Not top eight, but it's going to be 17, 22, he's going 22 at the van. Six. All right. So right now, Bailey's got to tie it up 5-5. Five to five. Uh, He looks like he does not have enough to do an end. Ooh, he's riding over as the great, though. That is, could be trouble for Bailey. I know. He's going to cut Let's off his rear guard for power, power up there. He's going to go straight for that. Good bit of hand advantage, too. Let's hope he doesn't have anything uh, else to uh, mess Bailey up uh, here. I don't know about hand advantage. He still has to pitch do for the skill. I mean, he's got a lot in his hand. Plenty. He's got at least, like, four or five cards there. True, true. Giving plus three to the X rear guard, calling stride fodder, and then he's going to go right for that burning horn. Plus five to the end on the rear guard circle there. And a perfect guard check. Hey, okay, perfect guard. And now we're going. Nothing. Yep, now it looks like he's going right for uh, standing again. Going right at the van for 25. No guard. And that is the game. All right, so that is game one wrapped up right there. Looks like Bart got Bailey right there in the great, just like I had said earlier. All right. Very good card in the mirror match. It helps just counteract anything your opponent can do almost. Yeah. Because you can just keep swinging at their rear guards and just keep depleting over and over. Yeah. Very efficient for the game. Uses up hand and field advantage. Very powerful. Very, very good. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. We're moving on around two here. Well, uh, we saw a lot of interesting decks today. We saw a Revenger Abyss, which surprisingly did not even make the... Uh, Top, uh, yeah, did not make top four. It made top eight, however. Mm -hmm. uh, Bailey actually played him in top eight, and uh, I believe they went to game three on that, and uh, Bailey just took it right there in game three. Both decks are very powerful decks, so, I mean, it was a really close match. Definitely yeah, came down was. Like, I was right there next to them all while they were playing it, and it looked like Bailey was just uh, keep rushing on through. Yeah. His opponent seemed to uh, be doing very well with the abyss, however. All right. So they are shuffling for game two. Type in the chat saying shut up, All right. So, I don't know. I'm really digging these sleeves. I love the game. What do you think? Oh, uh, yeah. I very much enjoy uh, 
Bailey's Bermuda Triangle sleeves, but Bart's sleeves definitely have it over the top with the uh, reverse circles. He uh, actually pulled it against an Omega Glen uh, Glendios loop deck earlier, and he won uh, nice. from decking it out. And it uh, matched very nicely, I must say. But uh, check out the new uh, card by Vanguard mats. Notice how they say Syracuse, repping uh, Providence, Rhode Island very well, as you can tell. <laughs> Not even top eight. We can't even dignify our players with that. <laughs> ah, dang. Yeah. Guys, if you're Leah, leave comments in the leave comments below and see, um, tell us what you think about their sleeves. Which one do you think is better? Which one's more unique in that sense? Definitely want to hear from you guys. All right. All right. So things are starting off pretty slow. Bailey went right. first. Bailey takes this. All right. Takes this let's see what Bailey can do horn. to keep going up against this power. Searches out. Gets. Oh, he the gets end. the end right off the bat. Now that's not exactly good, but it's not bad because I mean he might be looking for an X right now. True. Then again, he could also have one in his hand, but we will not spoil that. Alright, so like he's going pretty big on the rear guards now. Alright. Rear guard swings for 17. Right, plus 5 batter to uh, Bart's fan. Alright, Bart rides. Burnout. I gotta say, this is always a very interesting and long matchup. Um, it just takes a lot of intricate thinking to uh, keep playing around what your opponent does. They're always trying to uh, counterbalance you, and you have to keep drawing, counterbalancing them back. And it's very control like, and I like it a lot. It kind of brings a sense to a kind of a blue-white magic control for all you Magic the Gathering players out there. I don't know. I get this. I get more of the sense of like a like a red, blue, like a red blue control. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, so looks like uh, they're both playing the Grade Two game here. For rear guards. Always a good strategy in this meta with Stride being so popular and Legion still being quite the thing. Legion will, all, Legion will be a thing for quite a while, just because it's a very useful mechanic for recycling cards. Yeah, decks can survive very well without it, but decks without it are very much hindered, I found today in this matchup. Uh, I could not, I was playing uh, Sweep Command in top 8, and uh, could not keep up with the X very well at all, because it just recycled, it went too fast. My deck uh, just could not keep up with the hand size, and that's why this deck is very, very good, and still managed to uh, be played throughout this entire time. Mm. Yeah, especially with the Calamity Tower Wyverns. Ooh, that plus five. Oof, triple damage off of that, though. Good no, job. Score is two to four. It's barely right. happening in the lead with only two damage. But that can change very quickly here. Especially seeing what uh, Bart's upcoming drive checks will be. Especially because Bart is getting the opportunity to go Legion first, going Legion right into the end and adding an end to the hand with the Axis skill. Yeah, thinning out his deck while adding triggers back into the deck. Oof, he looks like he's Very got good. two Burning Horns sitting right up there with the Calamity Tower. Oof. See how this goes for him now. Alright. 29 at the Vanguard. No, he's going right for the rear so that we can oh. get that end skill off. Ah, okay. I did not see that. Good call. Alright, go for, goes for the end. Alright, looks like we're standing again. Let's see how it goes. Going for 22. One power, one it was going to take no the guard. shot. Alright. All right. It's only one damage. Oh, that's only two damage. I Oof, but it looks like Bailey lost two Protect Orb Dragons right off the back there. Ooh, that's going to hinder his uh, his late game defense. Unless he can manage to heal those back into his deck, <coughs> heal them into his drop zone, then Legion them back into the deck. Then he'll be able to survive, but I don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to come to pass for Bailey. Let's give it up for Jay right in the background and Bart right there. He was the one playing Dark Regulars and made it very far with the top eight today. A nice, unique build, and I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. So shout out to my man Jay. Yeah, shout out to my man. Shout out to Jay. Also, shout out to my man Dan Malley in the background and behind Bailey Happening, making top three at the Hartford, he did. Connecticut oh, yeah. ARG Circuit Series for Cardfight Vanguard. That was a long time ago, but yeah, he uh, managed to do that with Gear Chronicle, as I recall. Yeah, and the, one of the very few Gear Chronicle users at the events, and the only one to actually top the event and do very well. Yeah, I was very surprised to see Gear Chronicle do that. Uh, Gear Chronicle at first, when released, was uh, pretty good, had Radnikots doing uh, a lot of different things, but it's just a very slow deck, which is awful, but let's hope we see some nice stuff from Set 4 with the next stage. Yeah. Looks like uh, Bart's striding here, going right into uh, Mufasa. 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 <laughs> Mustafa. Oh, it's Mustafa? Yes. I prefer Mufasa, personally. Yeah. Alright, looks like he picked up from his Red Poles kid a cross. Alright. Calling All right. his X of the Going 34 guard. right at the Vanguard. Alright, All right. so a perfect guard and end in a calamity for him. Uh, Alright, he's going Some... swing for 16, 10 guard there. Alright, so now it's Bailey's turn, stand and draw. 
All right, so it looks like Bailey's going to re-ride the cross, and it looks like he's going to Calamity Tower right here. That's a very good play for Bailey. Helps him recycle his deck very well. Get those, uh... Gets the extra draw in hand, but it looks like he was very unfortunate to draw a heal trigger, and that is... Ah, that's awful. It's all right. He'll be able... He'll get a chance to re um, re some of those uh, triggers back into his deck with the X and the end, just getting put back with Burnout Skill. Attention, Yu-Gi-Oh! One player Alright, puts back a heal trigger, an X, a burning horn, and a calamity tower wire. Pretty good choices, considering he needs to maintain hand advantage to calamity tower. Camera shake and earthquake! Oh no! Alright, so it looks like Billy's going right after. Perfect guard right on that X. Ooh, right. critical trigger. He looks like he's giving it all to his end rear guard. It's going to be swinging for 21 with extra 21 critical. extra critical to the, the rear. rear Very good choice. Really? Yes, because now it doesn't leave him the open two for the end, and that Bailey cannot survive that right now, just being at five to three. Sure, Could have pushed sure. it for five, but Bart would have probably just taken it. Yeah, he's going to blow up that column with... Root Flare. Very useful card. Very. Very. Did not see a very good play in the beginning when it first came out. Everybody was very uh, focused on the axe, but uh, when that card gets busted out, it does some impact. He's going to go for the three to pass. Power and no heal. All right, power draw. Looks like Bailey just skinned the teeth on that one. And oh, just one off. It's close. All right, looks like Bailey is going to. Looks like know. he's very hesitant in the stride here. Up oh, there it is. It's now go he's going right it. into his own. Uh, there. I don't know. He's gonna take it. He's gonna guard. Oh, he's gonna take it. Oh, oh no, he's not. checking for triggers. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. Uh, it's a counter blast one. Uh, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna take it. One, two. two. Oh, heal trigger. Yeah, there he goes. Nice. Bailey needed that heal pretty bad there. Let's see if yeah. this game can go up to game three or not. Yeah. I'm actually surprised he just randomly took the uh, the Atheon instead of taking the perf per perfect. Guard he right was uh, more focused on, I think, uh, just getting the unflip damage out of there so that way he can keep going with his end cycling. Yeah. The perfects are really nice, but they aren't necessary sometimes because sometimes you can't even guard that rear that he's just gonna go be on after. True. True. Let's see. Man, Bart has been try. playing this deck top and through for like the last uh, three or four events he's topped just with this deck alone. Another uh, Route Flare. I don't see the actual like usability of Route Flare in this situation. He has no rear guard. Uh, right now he's just going for a hand advantage as much as he can. He's got to pump up his hand as fast as he can before that X can make uh, any pressure go out on him. All right, he's Looks like Barry's asking good. for drop now. Uh, all right, let's see. All right, Bart has four damage, three flip down, one on flip, then Bailey's got four flip face up, all damage. Let's see. Let's see how this game can turn. It looks like Bart's got the hand advantage currently, but Bailey's Ooh, okay crit power. Ooh, crit power. Crit power. That's, that's the game. That is the game there, and guys. Bart wins. Congratulations to Bart Andrioli for winning uh, ARG Providence Rhode Island. This is us, uh, Riley Happening, and Derek. Mo Derek Morno. And, uh, and Dan. And, and Dan. Dan. And, uh, and Josh. We wish you all a farewell. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful yeah. evening and uh, always enjoy card fighting. Peace.